press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. So let's discuss this a bit further. We're joined now by Dr. Sriram Chaulia. He's a professor and dean of the Jindal School of International Affairs. And you're very welcome. Um, firstly, just to outline to us then how real are these uh, concerns for safety and environmental concerns too regarding this nuclear power plant? Well, Andrew, uh, nuclear power, as you know, since the Fukushima disaster in Japan, has uh, uh, generated a lot of uh, environmental protests. Uh, so uh, there are quite a few NGOs uh, here in India that are dead opposed to nuclear power. And um, um, even the Russian uh, project in Kudankulam for the south, uh, for another atomic uh, uh, reactor and uh, power generation had been opposed resolutely by some local groups that are left-leaning. Uh, but I would still think that Jaitapur, the one which France and India are developing and which uh, has just been agreed upon, uh, is going to be overall beneficial for India's uh, economic development and its plans to move away from fossil fuels. Uh, it's a bit of an irony that environmental groups uh, are challenging nuclear power, even though it is relatively cleaner than coal uh, and oil and gas. So I think uh, Prime Minister Modi and uh, uh, President Macron have agreed upon um, a very ambitious deal to also promote solar energy. And I think solar and nuclear are essential for India, uh, the, one of the largest uh, developing countries in the world, to move away from dependence on uh, fossil fuels. So it's a tough trade-off. Some local people have grievances about land and compensation, as well as, as you said, environmental degradation. And uh, to some extent, this may also help to revise the approach of the French and the Indian governments because uh, civil society is important and has to be taken along. Uh, but I think overall, the relationship with France is growing. Uh, it's not just uh, nuclear power. They have also agreed on Indian Ocean uh, cooperation for uh, joint um, usage of military bases by the two uh, navies. And uh, there are also a host of other defense deals that have been discussed. So it's uh, become a more wide-ranging uh, relationship. And uh, I don't think the protests uh, in Jaitapur will in any way hold back the two governments from proceeding ahead. And just on the issue of um, safety there, people say they are concerned that this area is actually known to being prone to seismic activity. Is that a fair concern to have? Uh, well, there are different evaluations about the risk. Uh, some uh, are of the view that, uh, you know, it's only a moderate seismic zone and that uh, the chances of uh, on a Fukushima-type disaster are actually quite low. Uh, but then there are others who are saying, you know, we have to be uh, absolutely foolproof uh, uh, safe and not take a chance at all. But then the point is, you know, nuclear power re requires coolants and uh, India has a large coastline. So both the Kudankulam, which Russia is building for the south, and Jaitapur, which France is going to build, both of them are uh, along the ocean, uh, and they have to be in coastal locations for water, uh, for cooling uh, the reactors. So I think uh, it's like a, a difficult dilemma, but end of the day, uh, the consensus is if we are reasonably uh, secure and uh, can uh, you know, provide some safeguards, for local people and for the environment, we should still be able to proceed ahead and uh, look for the larger developmental needs uh, of a growing uh, economy like India, which is uh, right now the mix, the energy mix is heavily fossil fuel dependent and we need to transition towards uh, solar, wind and nuclear. And I think uh, in that order, these three are going to be very, very crucial for uh, us to meet the Paris climate change commitments uh, and also to also be able to uh, safeguard the air and water in the long run for all our people. OK, Sriram, look, we're going to have to leave it there. We've run out of time, but uh, nice to talk to you. Thanks for the background to all of this. That was Dr Sriram Chaulia, Professor and Dean of India's Jindal School of International Affairs. Thank you.